Reverend, Reverend Billy Graham turning 96 years old yesterday. He is the world's most successful evangelist, and he spent the day surrounded by close friends and family. Joining us here now to talk more about it is his son, Reverend Franklin Graham. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Well, tell us, how's your father doing, and how did he spend his birthday? Uh, you know, he's, he's doing fairly good. You know, at 96, he doesn't hear real well, doesn't see real well. Uh, but he had some family and friends, and uh, even the Orthodox Church of Russia sent uh, their metropolitan uh, from Moscow, Metropolitan uh, Hilarion. Uh, he came and visited my father, and my father appreciated that very much. He had spent a lot of time in Russia in the latter uh, years of his ministry. And so, but he had, a, he had a lot of fun, and he had a lot of birthday cakes. So um, uh, he enjoyed, uh, I think, a bite of every one of them. So the, um, there's a new film out uh, with your father in it. It's called Heaven. Um, he's got a pretty powerful message in it, it sounds like. I want to play a clip from that, from that film. Watch. Okay. He wants you to live life to the fullest, and he has a plan for you that will prosper you and bless you. Jesus said, I've come that they might have life and might have it to the fullness. He wants you to have life. He wants you to enjoy life, to give you the assurance that your sin is forgiven, that you're going to heaven when you die. In it, he says, I know I'm going to heaven. I'm looking forward to it with great anticipation. I mean, that's kind of the whole point, right? Well, you, you know, my father, his, uh, his entire life, uh, he has wanted to try to prepare people uh, for, for death. And, you know, after death, there's only two places, either heaven or hell. And the decisions that we make here in life is the decisions that will ensure whether we are in heaven or not. And Jesus said, I'm the way. He said, I'm the truth. I'm the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Uh, there's, there's not many roads to God or many ways to heaven. There's only one. And that's through faith in Christ. And my father has been very clear all of his life. This has been the focus of his ministry. And here at 96 years of age, uh, he is still burdened. Uh, for the souls of men and women. And he wants them to know that God does love them. He cares for them very much. But our sins separate us from God. And God sent his son to take our sins on the cross. He shed his blood for our sins. And God yeah. raised him to life. And he'll come into each and every heart that is willing to trust him and believe in him. Franklin, countless Americans uh, and really people all over the world that your father touched. I grew up in the Bible Belt in the South and remember going to Billy Graham Crusades, uh, the Billy Graham libraries in my hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. He's, he's advised so many presidents. Is there somebody who is next in line that you can see the, the next Billy Graham as your father is, is aging? Well, you know, he's... Um uh, he, he may be aging, but he's, uh, he's still involved. And his organization, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, uh, we are reaching more people today with the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, than my father was able to do in his lifetime. And it's not that we uh, are doing it better or smarter. There's just technology today that he didn't have access to. And so we've been able to take the gospel message, uh, this message of God's love, and uh, actually take it around the world, and we do this every day. And so uh, I don't know in the future what God, uh, what his plans are, or what, what new person may come onto the world scene. But the, the importance of preaching the gospel, the truth, that God loves sinners and he's willing to forgive all sin. How many sermons do you think your father gave? Uh, how, many, uh, did, how many meetings did he have? Is that the uh, question? How many, how many sermons do you think he preached? Oh, I, you know, um, I know we have some of that uh, archive somewhere, but I just don't have it right now. I don't know. Uh, I know that he has said that if he had had to do it over again, he would probably preach less and huh. do more study. Uh, he, he felt that he was always, uh, you know, preaching too much, and that was always a concern of his. Hmm. One way that your family uh, helps us grow in our faith is through Operation Christmas Child. Uh, why do you think the importance of that is, and, and how's that going so far this year? Well, you, you know, it's, um, Operation Christmas Child is an opportunity for everyone uh, to be able to be involved in helping somebody at Christmas uh, in another country. And we ask people, of course, just to pack an empty shoebox and put toys in it and uh, put some school supplies, pencil and paper, uh, whatever, and then send it to us, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it to a child somewhere around the world, because I want children around the world to know that God is real, that God has not forgotten them, 
and, and that he loves them. And so many children, and you think of the children in Iraq right now, like the, the children of the Azizis, mm -hmm. uh, children of, of the, many of the Muslims that have fled ISIS, and they just probably are afraid and wonder, does God really love us? Does he care? Well, we're going to give gifts to those children this year, uh, and, and, and also a hundred other countries. And if a person wants to know uh, how they can be a part of it, uh, they can go to our website, SamaritansPurse.org and go to Operation Christmas Child and all the information there, how to pack a box, where to deliver it. Uh, we have pickup points all across the United States, thousands of them that they can deliver the box to. And we'll, we'll take it to a child this Christmas. And, and the key is to pray. Pray for the child who's going to get that box, because I don't know who will get it, but God knows. And if you pray for them, I know God answers prayer. The Reverend Franklin Graham joining us live this morning. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you.